Well, I think from a merchant standpoint, uh, they will all take it on because there's going to be incentives to do that uh, from a security standpoint to some standpoint for fraud. Uh, and then also the card brands are pushing it and the processors will be pushing it as well because there's incentives for them. With, the, with respect to mobile wallets, there is no clear-cut leader right now. In fact, as you probably know, there's over 100 mobile wallets out there. I think until somebody comes out and really has a, uh, a killer app to draw the, draw the uh, consumer to it, you won't see a clear-cut uh, leader. And in fact, uh, you know, it's got to be tied into merchandising. And, and that's, that's the secret sauce right now. And there's just nothing out there that sets, sets themselves apart from anybody else. Actually, it's empowerment. That's, that's the, if you put it in one word, there's a new uh, platform coming into place. It's, it's mobile, whether it's a tablet, traditional handheld device, or bring your own device, uh, whether it's iOS, Android, or maybe Windows 8. What that's doing is empowering the consumer or the shopper. It's uh, empowering the associate. It's empowering the store. It's empowering everybody with omni-channel access to information and also information on the store floor so they can make the sale and make it a better shopping experience. And what that does for our marketplace and for our industry, it gives all kinds of new opportunities. People should not run from mobile. They should not run from tablets. They should embrace it.